Ideally, you'd like to get the piece out of the same piece, of, the two pieces out of the same piece of wood. But because mahogany is in short supply nowadays, in order to conserve wood, we'll take the thinner piece of wood out of a 10 quarter piece, and the wreath part we're going to take out of a 12 quarter piece. So, in order to do this, we have to try and match the grain and get the color similar. We have to look at the wood ahead of time and try and get a similar color between these two different pieces of wood. The grain going through the longest part of the smallest piece, we want our grain going this direction, but we also want to worry about when we're going to carve this later. So we've got to make sure that that grain is parallel to that point. So we'll lay out our grain lines, and then we can orient that on our block so that the grain lines follow the grain of the wood. going to give us our elevation. That's going to be the right pitch when I cut this off. I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to glue it back here. And you want to do this very quickly before the hot glue cools off. Hold this thing up, press this one in, and now we're going to wait seconds while that glue sets up. Let's see how nice that is. Let that glue set up and this thing should stand by itself. This is the center line of the rail. This is the top and this is the bottom. I'm going to square these lines all the way across because after I cut this piece off I, I need to know where that is in the block. I'm going to do the top line first. Center line. Now the line I'm going to take is this square line. That's our stub. That's a straight piece of rail. I'm going to follow that on the bandsaw. piece. This here is a radius in plan. A piece has a radius in plan. But you can see here that my pattern is an ellipse. But when you hold it up in elevation and slide it right over the pattern, you can see that from plan view it is in fact a radius. <laughs> 